Like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Larry Summers says now is not the time for moral hazard lectures on bailouts. Lauren Summers, an economist who worked in the Clinton and Obama administrations, stirred up a storm this weekend, lobbying for a full bailout of Silicon Valley Bank, which collapsed on Friday after a bank run allegedly led by billionaire Peter Thiel, but Summers doesn't he want to hear moral hazard lectures, as he puts it, about the risks of helping companies that had accounts with the SBB. I hope and trust that the authorities are on the way to do what is necessary to restore confidence. Acting decisively and quickly is cheapest for both taxpayers and best for the economy. Failure to act strongly enough would be a Lehman-like mistake, Summers tweeted on Sunday broader sense, it is also imperative that other banks are adequately supported to ensure full availability of deposited funds throughout banking system, Summers tweeted. This is not the time for moral hazard lectures or class sessions or alarm bells about the political implications of bailout, Summers tweeted, putting bailout in chilling quotes, even though he was proposing a bailout using the simplest definition possible. Summers argued that trying to differentiate between different customers at SBG Bank was a luxury that could not be afforded. According to Summers, time is of the essence. Curiously, Summers doesn't he believe SBBS collapse is a systemic risk, which would seem to contradict the argument that the bank needs an immediate bailout. Summers also took a very different stance when the people who might receive a bailout were average Americans with college loan debt. In 2022, Summers tweeted against student loan easement, arguing that the money for that easement would be better spent giving people who couldn't he afford to go to college a new way to go to college right the idea behind student loans, every dollar spent on facilitating student loans, is a dollar that could be used to support those who don't have the opportunity to go to college, Summers tweeted in.